nine of every 10 students struggled in integration before we taught them the three mantras of integration if you are one of them then let me change the way you see think and attempt integration questions before going to mantras let me clarify you one thing mantras are your guidelines not the formula by itself so we need to know formulas of integrations power rule this rule says integration x power n into dx is equal to x power n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c we add c to all the indefinite integration questions basically indefinite integration means there will be no limits in the integration symbol let's take our first question and replace the value of n right so integration of x power 0 into dx we we are replacing value of n by 0 so we get a solution as x power 0 plus 1 over 0 plus 1 plus c if we rearrange we get x plus c let's take an another example integration x power 3 dx here in in place of n we are substituting 3 so we get solution as x power 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 plus c let's move to our uh, next example integration x power minus 5 into dx in this example we are replacing n with minus 5 so we get x power minus 5 plus 1 over minus 5 plus 1 plus c if we rearrange both lhs and the rhs we get integration of x power minus 5 into dx we can write integration of 1 by x power 5 into dx and in the rhs we can write minus 1 by 4 x power 4 plus c let's take a next example integration x power 1 by 2 into dx see here n is replaced with a half so we get x power 1 by 2 plus 1 over 1 by 2 plus 1 plus c so we get x power 3 by 2 over 3 by 2 again we and we can rearrange and rewrite lhs and the rhs so we get integration of x power 1 by 2 can we write as root x into dx is equal to 3 by 2 if we take it in numerator it become 2 by 3 and x power 3 by 2 special result this is our next example integration of x power minus 1 by 2 into dx here the value of n is replaced with minus 1 by 2 so x power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 over minus 1 by 2 plus 1 plus c so we get x power 1 by 2 over 1 by 2 plus c we can rearrange and rewrite lhs and rhs so we can write integration of x power minus 1 by 2 as integration of 1 by root x into dx is equal to 1 by 2 if we take it in numerator we will get 2 and x power 1 by 2 is root x again exception integration of x power minus 1 into dx here n is replaced with minus 1 so if we use the power rule we get x power minus 1 plus 1 over minus 1 plus 1 plus c we can say that the denominator is becoming zero <coughs> so it's going out of domain so we need to understand power rule will only fail at n equal to minus 1 so that is why we call this as exception we will try to think this in the more fundamental way whose d by dx will get the value of 1 by x well if you ask me i will answer with the log x can we say anti derivative of 1 by x is log x absolutely yes So integration of 1 by x into dx is equal to log x plus c. In the video, we are going to use power rule and the two outcomes of this power rule. So I repeat, integration of x power n into dx. We need to remember that is x power n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c, and we need to remember integration of 1 by root x into dx is 2 root x plus c. Another formula that we need to remember is integration of 1 by x into dx is log mod x plus c. Mantra number one split. We will know more about this mantra with some example. Let's take our first example. Integration x cube plus x square plus 2x minus 3 over x into dx. 
so we can split the denominator to each term of the numerator so we can write integration of x cube over x plus x square over x plus 2x over x minus 3 over x into dx we can further solve this and we can cancel out x in the numerator and denominator so we get integration of x square plus x plus 2 minus 3 over x into dx now we will use linearity property that is integration of sum is equal to sum of integration it means integration of sum of all the terms is nothing but integration of each term and summing it up so you can write integration of x square into dx plus integration of x into dx plus integration of 2 into dx minus integration of 3 over x into dx to solve this we will use power rule so integration of x square into dx becomes x cube over 3 and integration of x dx becomes x square over 2 plus 2 is a number and dx integration is x minus 3 over x is 3 log x plus c let's move to the next example the question here is integration of 1 plus x square over root x into dx whenever you find a denominator has only one term and numerator has many terms always try to split and use formula of power rule so we'll split root x so we get integration of 1 over root x plus x square over root x into dx so we know what is an integration of 1 by root x but uh, let's uh, reduce x square over root x so x square over root x can be written as x square over x power 1 by 2 and further we can write x square into x power minus 1 by 2 and if we add the powers we get x power 2 minus 1 by 2 that is x power 3 by 2 so we will replace uh, back to the last step so integration of 1 over root x plus x power 3 by 2 into dx so now we can integrate each term so integration of 1 by root x into dx plus integration of x power 3 by 2 into dx integration of 1 over root x into dx is 2 root x plus x power will we'll use a power rule so we'll get x power 3 by 2 plus 1 over 3 by 2 plus 1 so we can rearrange and write the solution as 2 root x plus 2 by 5 x power 5 by 2 plus mantra number 2 create and split this mantra says create denominator in numerator and split this mantra we need to try if mantra number 1 is not working we will know the procedure to use this through an example integration of x over x plus 1 into dx this is our first example first thing we have to do is try our first mantra can we split no because there are two terms in the denominator and one term in the numerator so we will apply our second mantra that is create denominator in numerator we have x plus 1 in the denominator and x in the numerator we can always create constant by using mathematical operation adding and subtracting or multiplying and dividing the constants so in this question we will try to add and subtract 1 in the numerator so we get integration of x plus 1 minus 1 in the numerator and in the denominator we have x plus 1 so now we have successfully created denominator in the numerator now let's split it integration of x plus 1 over x plus 1 minus 1 over x plus 1 into dx we can take x plus 1 in the both numerator and denominator out so we are left with integration 1 minus 1 over x plus 1 into dx and uh, we know linearity property and we can integrate each of the term individually and add them up so integration of 1 into dx minus integration of 1 over 1 plus x into dx we know the value of integration 1 into dx that is x integration of 1 over 1 plus x into dx we are going to know the result in a couple of minutes if we already know the answer comment below and for now let's consider integration of 1 over 1 plus x as log of 1 plus x so the value or the answer for this question is x minus log of 1 plus x plus c mantra 3 create denominator differentiation in numerator we need to know formula to apply this mantra in problems 
the formula is integration of f dash of x into dx over f of x is equal to log mod f of x plus c the main thing we need to observe in this formula is the denominator f of x and its differentiation f dash of x into dx is the numerator so solution for these kind of question will be log of mod f of x that is denominator i repeat if denominator differentiation is there in the numerator then answer for that kind of integration questions will be log of denominator we'll try to use this uh, through a first example so our first example is integration of 2x over x square plus 1 so whenever we go through an integration question we always start with mantra number one here can we split no we can't mantra number two can we create denominator in numerator no because we only can create constants in denominator and numerator here there is a difference in degree of a polynomial in both numerator and denominator so we can't use our second mantra we will try our mantra 3 let's differentiate denominator d over dx of x square plus 1 that gives 2x so 2x is there in numerator differentiation of denominator is numerator so we can use the formula integration of f dash of x into dx over f of x is equal to log mod f of x plus c so the answer for this becomes log of x square plus 1 plus c we'll go to our next example that is integration of 1 over x plus 1 into dx to solve any integration question we have to go through the process can we use our mantra number 1 that is split no we can't because there are two terms in the denominator and one term in the numerator and mantra number 2 can we create denominator in numerator no we can't because the there is a difference in degree of a polynomial in numerator and denominator so we'll check our mantra 3 so to check that we will differentiate the denominator so d over dx of x plus 1 that is 1 so 1 is there in the numerator d by dx of denominator is numerator so we can use the formula integration of f dash of x over f of x is equal to log mod f of x plus c so the solution for this problem is log mod x plus 1 plus c what if we consider x plus a instead of x plus 1 where a is any constant d over dx of x plus a is 1 so we can generalize integration of 1 over x plus a into dx is log of mod x plus a plus c what is the most difficult concept you have struggled to understand in mathematics let us know in comments below make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon to not miss another update from alpha theta epsilon hope you enjoyed the video this was integration mantras for polynomial